Logistical challenges and an increase in shipping prices have pushed up the cost of motor vehicles by an average of 1.7 million, which represents at least 16%. The increase comes on the back of a global pandemic occasioned by COVID-19 and an escalation in the general cost of goods and services across the world. Associated car dealers have therefore recorded a reduction in sales after a rise in price by 16% on the used cars. Buddy Albert, the assistant director of Wover Motors, says that the more the prices go higher, the more they reject a low turn up of customers. It affected us so much that uh, the clientele base reduced uh, compared to uh, the, the sales we used to make because of the taxes. Yeah, for example, if you, 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 you're to invest in 20M in a, in a car, uh, then, then, then that means you're forced to sell it at 25. Now someone to come with 25 uh, cash, that's a, a long way to go. For instance, about six months ago, Toyota Fielder, which cost 2,700 US dollars, now goes for 4,500 US dollars. While most third generation vehicles costing about 15 million have since increased to 18 million. The, 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 the places we buy the cars, we ship those cars from Japan. Uh, $2,000, 2000 2000 you can buy a car at, at, at $2,000. US dollars. That's approximately uh, 7 m with shipment, we, uh, I mean you buy it up to Mombasa, being shipped up to Mombasa. Now, you come here to face taxes, you'll find that uh, you'll pay taxes, uh, you, you'll pay 14M in taxes. So you, you, can, you, can, you can also calculate the difference, 7M to 14. So you can see that the taxes are higher than the purchase price and then, uh, not only taxes. You after paying taxes, you have to go to uh, you, you. You have to buy the third party. You have to put in other 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 small small taxes for you to be able to access to use the car on the road. Actually, they tell you the place. Uh, they 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 give you the place with the shipment inclusive. That, that that's the, 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 the that's how they do business. So you find that. Uh, for example, if you're buying a wish at 2,500 uh, US dollars with shipment, then you come here to pay 14M, uh, you're asking how does it come to Uganda. Now when you are, it comes up to Mombasa, uh, we have our drivers. Uh, we, sometimes we, we, we use these rural, rural vehicles to bring the cars, but most of the times we, we use our drivers. So you, that's also another expense. Because uh, you have to, to, to facilitate to, to facilitate that driver to drive that car from Mombasa to Uganda. That, 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 that takes approximately uh, 2.2. 2. So the 2.2, 2, you add on the 14M, which are the taxes. You add on other, other small, small expenses. You end up, uh, you, you find that the, 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 the place, the, the money you've spent, the taxes you've paid here in Uganda, higher than the purchase, the purchase price. About the prices, dealers said that it has been made once by government's policy which demands that motor vehicles that are older than 15 years cannot be imported into the country. To import cars uh, in, 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 at, at, at any year of manufacture, like 1990s, from 1990s to 2000. But now they, 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 they brought that limit that uh, the cars which are entering Uganda are strictly supposed to be 2008 and above. Now someone to buy a 2008 model, uh, it, it's quite expensive. Data from the industry players suggested that motor vehicle brands that are highly demanded by Ugandans such as Pasio and Raum are being phased out of the market which leaves only costly brands such as Fielder. Prices are estimated to have increased by between 11% to 16% spread across all over the sizes and models. Uganda is a net importer with much of the country's motor vehicle imports sourced from Japan, India, South Africa and Germany.
During the quarter ended December 2021, according to the data from the Uganda Revenue Authority, a total of 12,057 used motor vehicles were imported into the country, earning the government at least 375 billion in taxes. Uganda Revenue Authority data also indicates that 4,060 used motor vehicles were imported into the country in October 2021, but slightly reduced to 3,730 units in November, before picking up again to 4,267 units in December. However, during December, data shows that imports were almost 21% below the 5,188 units that were cleared in the same period in 2020, with the Ugandans spending above $2 trillion annually. And that's according to the data from the Minister of Finance.